the year 2008 was a turning point in the global cricketing landscape. After India clinched the 2007 T20 World Cup, BCCI, the governing body of Indian cricket, came up with a novel idea. Something that no one had thought would become a multi-billion dollar franchisee with millions of viewers across the world. Yes, I'm talking about IPL, the Indian Premier League, which started in the year 2008 and gave birth to a whole new cricketing ecosystem. Indian Premier League is popular for its nail-biting finishes and the unpredictability of the game until the very last ball. The T20 format of the game has gained huge attention worldwide, which was never achieved before the IPL. The India in the Premier League. The IPL. Um, April. IPL. The IPL. You'll be astonished to know that there's a lot of math that goes behind the IPL matches. Let's dig in to know more, shall we? We all see predictions of the match which tell the probability of a team winning. These aren't just what people feel. Behind a couple of numbers we see on the screen lies a deep-rooted involvement of math and data analytics. Cricket has many factors that affect the game. But how do we know which of these factors help us accurately predict the outcome? That's where the math comes in. An artificial intelligence technology called machine learning uses mathematical methods to determine those factors that can accurately predict the outcome of a match. So, what are these important factors? These could be home ground advantage, toss outcome, players' past performance, performance at a specific venue, performance of a team against a specific team, the current form of the team, knowing what influences a game is one part of the prediction problem. We also need to know to what degree do these factors influence the result? Are there mathematical equations involving these factors that can predict the result of a match? If yes, which one should we use? To arrive at the predictions, we use many machine learning algorithms like logistic regression, naive Bayes, and support vector machine. What these prediction models are essentially trying to achieve is how best can we mathematically relate the factors to predict the outcomes. So, how do predictions help the teams, you might ask? Well, these predictions aren't just for entertainment of the viewers. They serve as a vital input to the playing teams. Predictions help teams to evaluate what chance they stand against the opponents and tweak their teams to improve their odds of winning. Now that's math in action. In fact, it doesn't just stop here. IPL teams take mathematics and data down to the field. The amount of data that cricket uses can be dizzying. Data analysts on field capture whopping 120 to 130 parameters for every single ball in its outcome. IPL has been using the power of data analytics to uncover a lot of insights that go into decision making. Mathematical analysis of various cricketing parameters informs the team about the strengths and the weaknesses of players and the team as a whole. In fact, data-driven mathematical insights are used to decide batting orders, field placements, bowling changes, and even for that matter, making decisions during IPL auctions. Numbers help us to unlock the hidden secrets of a game, understand our decisions, and take better actions. Numbers tell us a story more than what meets the eye. That's the power of math. But cricket is after all a game played with instincts and filled with human errors. And that is what makes it unpredictable. There are times when a player's true sportsmanship shines beyond numbers and logic. This makes the game and the players in it more like. Hope you enjoyed watching. This was my attempt to best simplify the predictions in cricket for you. Do share your thoughts. I would love to hear from you.